Look at this. <gasps> Perfect. Oh. Isn't it great? I have goosebumps everywhere. <laughs> this is out of this world. Indeed, the Ghanaian light soup and vufu that I had at Lizzie's place was the most delicious thing ever. Oh my goodness. It was loaded with protein. It was spicy and tasty. <laughs> I was loaded after this. I could not pull myself off the chair. <laughs> what will happen now? You take me home. Yeah, I'll take you home you myself. Home, eh? Yeah, I'll take you. Because I can't drive. Don't worry, I'll I'm take you. I'll take, uh, you. I'll take you home. <laughs> Good morning. So it's 7 a.m. and I am just about to get out of bed. Trust me, it took an arm and a leg to actually get me out of this bed. But it is Happy Guinean Independence Day and my friend Liz has invited me over to have authentic Ghanaian light soup and fufu. Who am I to pass on such an invitation? An important invitation like that? Of course not. I'm going to oblige her, girl. <laughs> so I'm just taking out my braids this morning because that was the plan. The plan was to get rid of the braids. The braids had served two plus months since I went to Nigeria. And I just thought it is time to say bye-bye, have the hair properly washed, cleaned, conditioned, everything that you can think about, all that good stuff. And so honestly speaking, I have been very, very creative with my hair ever since I got to Canada. I mean, in Nigeria, I used to be creative with the hair, but maybe not as much as um, now in Canada. Because why? Hair was super, super affordable in Nigeria than it is in Canada. Everybody knows that, right? Um, I think I can say the same for even parts of the U.S. as well. Anyway, so we got to finish this off with my glasses, please. Because don't even ask me where I've got these glasses. I've gotten that question so many times and I can't even remember. So please do not ask me. I just know that ever since I got them and they fit perfectly, I compliment everything I wear with these glasses. I don't care. <laughs> All right, okay, so it looks like we are set to go shoes on i'll just pick up my purse and i'm heading out let's go so lizzie does not stay very close to me she actually stays in mississauga mississauga ontario which is about 50 minutes away from me so we're going to hit the highway right now because it's a little dry baby okay guys so we're here um Everywhere in this place is filled with snow. I can't actually find anywhere to park. So I just told her to come down. So she's coming down. And then we'll head over to the store to get some of the items that we'll be using for the soup and the fufu. I'm loaded. Ooh, I'm A few moments later. Mimawa. Yeah, Mimawa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to show in my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Not to your camera. <laughs> How? <laughs> don't worry now. Uh, don't kidding. worry. She, you say you don't want to show. Uh, why? Eh? Yes. You people, if you see this thing, oh, please, uh, if you know what Ghanaian women oh, are known please, for, uh, which part is in my ear? You know. You know. If you know, come closer. Tell me. You know. Uh -huh. My friend is loaded. Oh, please. My friend is loaded. Oh, Up and down, everything. Oh, please. Ah, she doesn't want to show up. No problem. We've already agreed. We shall respect your decision. Oh your wish is my command. Oh my you don't want to show in my camera. No worries. But we're going to eat your food. Yeah. We shall see your food. All right. So we're just going to get some items at the African store. A lot of those things that we're going to be using for this Ghanaian light soup are things we have to get at an African or Caribbean store because you won't just see it in every um, grocery store, like your regular grocery store. We started off with getting 
goat meat. Uh, did you see that guy? He was so nice. He just, he posed for the camera. Honestly, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> anyway, so we got goat meat, um, because that's the major protein we're using. And we also got beef tripe. Um, you'll see me get the beef tripe here because we didn't stay to actually buy the remaining items there. The owner of the spot actually did not like us recording at her store and she said we should stop. So a lot of things that we wanted to at least show you guys right on camera as we were picking them, we could not do that there. So we just went to another store. We're just getting tomatoes and we're going to be using some okra, um, some onions, uh, we actually did not see the African garden egg, but we got what we could. We got scotch bonnets and this baby eggplant that looks like green peas. Okay guys, so we are here now. We're just going upstairs, packing up stuff. Uh blacks hating on blacks. Like there's no needs. We need to, I don't know. We need to show more love. We need to... I, the hardest people that I have dealt with, Liz, are actually blacks like me. Yes. What's it called? I'm not trying to be, you know, any you, type of you, way. But the you, point is, I've noticed that, that blacks always make life difficult for, for blacks. Us. Like, we do ourselves. Yeah. Is yes. there a reason? Anyway. Have experienced that, Howard. Several times. There's no need. There's like, no need for we, need to be, we need to be kinder. Yeah. <sighs> Yes, yes, now we are in and settled. We have spread out all the ingredients on the kitchen island and we're getting ready to get into it, you know, get into the cooking. So stick around, don't go anywhere. We're eating this food together. Ponchinam, yes. Okay. Sapo. Sapo. Well, yeah. But it's actually o -o -jain. lamb tripe. Like, we call it shaki. Where okay, we and we from. call it ojain. Ojain. Ojain sapo. Sapo. Yeah, this is sapo. um, this is scotch bonnet. Meko. 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 This one is actually supposed to be so. It, traditionally, you said it's um garden, garden eggs. eggs that you yeah. use. But in this case, we're not using garden eggs. We're gonna use eggplant. Yeah, because we don't have the garden eggs here. Okay. So this is what we've gotten. Okay. Yeah. And so, do you know what we call this in Nigeria? We call it uyayak. Okay. Uyayak. Prekese. Yes, Prekese. Yes. Okay. Like I said, no problem. Uh, we don't know the name of this one, but uh, if you know the name, please drop it in the comment section. <laughs> Be nice and drop it in the comment section. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're going to use a bit of mackerel. Yes. This mackerel is frozen. Yes. Liz. Yes. How are we going to don't use worry. this mackerel? Don't okay. worry. In All right. Ten minutes. In Less ten than minutes. ten minutes. Are you serious? Ready. I'm telling then you. This one. What does it do? How are we going yes. to use this one? We're going to use this one for the soup. We're going to uh, cook it okay. and then ground it. Up. The whole and thing. Not the whole thing. We just a few just pieces. Ten pieces of it because it take taking the 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 soup. So this and is called. So this is like the thick the thickener. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. And we have here Maggi um, cubes as well, so we can use. Okay, so we can use. Yeah, we can use. Okay, just no worries. Lizzie and I have not One. seen each other in over two years, so we definitely use this opportunity to also catch up, you know, sweetheart. Okay, so here we started off with chopping the onions that we're going to be using to boil the goat meat. Um, for the goat meat, we are going to blend onions, scotch bonnet, ginger, garlic, and then she put in some kind of seasoning that she was not sure of. Um, she blended it all together. Onions. Onions, good. Just some. Ingredients. Okay. Okay. Extra to add to it. Okay, and see. Okay, and see. This is this is just bouillon cubes. Um, it's just like the same chicken bouillon, but in this case, we're using is this chicken? Oh, it's shrimp. Shrimp. Okay, so we're using shrimp bouillon. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, the vegetables, um, the onions, the red bell pepper, the tomatoes, scotch bonnets, carrots, all those went in with the meats. And the idea is to have them cook in the broth, you know, just cook very well in the broth and soften up. 
and we added tomato paste for thickening the fricasse we added that as well and in another pot we boiled the beans you know the little portion of the beans she talked about we seasoned and cooked the mackerel separately this we are yeah. we, we are going to use okay. it yeah. i'm sorry what did you call it fricasse 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 yes. hey i'm learning <laughs> prick, said that one stuck with me. Prick, yeah, you, you understand. Prick. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you running? You guys to? Me at, okay, if I remember, uh, pr pr I, I if I remember, um, let's start with the first question. Very easy peasy. Okay. Very easy peasy. This one is even a cheap question, actually. Okay. So what is the capital of Ghana? Oh, my dear, it's Accra. Accra. Mm -hmm. And what is the biggest resource produced by Ghana? The biggest thing. The biggest thing. I'm wearing it on my neck. Hello. Gold. It's gold. <laughs> what is the most famous site in Ghana known for um, the place where slaves were imprisoned before transportation? Oh, um, Cape Coast. Look at you. Oh. I thought you said you didn't know this thing. Oh, my goodness. You, 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 I you thought know, you said you, you didn't. So what is the year of independence? I know that you Nine, should know this one too well. 67. 60 or 50? 57. 57. 57. Okay. Yes. Who was Ghana's first prime minister? We know it. Who was Ghana's first prime minister? No cheating. Guys. No cheating. Guys, she's checking her phone. No cheating. You're checking your phone. <laughs> but in the comment section, Lizzie doesn't know it. Lizzie, Liz, you don't know it. You don't know it. So let's move on. No problem. All right. So in Ghana, what is an essential part of someone's name? The what? Of someone's name. So your tr the traditional names that you give people, what is that thing that must be a part of the name? Um, I, I just read it somewhere. So what is that thing that must be a part of every Ghanaian's traditional name? It's where you're coming from, uh, something like that. Hmm. I'm not very sure. I actually heard that. And tell me if it's not true. I actually heard that the day you were born, the, the day, day yes. it must be added in your name. Yes. See? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling her. Yes. You see, I'm telling her the oh, answer. That's so bad of me. Right? <laughs> what is the largest market in Ghana? Uh, the largest market in Ghana before. No, I don't know. This one is in Kumasi. Kumasi, okay, because I'm coming from Accra, the city of mm -hmm. Ghana. Yes. So Kumasi, I hardly go there. So I. So don't, you're not very yes, sure. Okay. I'm so it's sure. called Kejetia Market. Kejetia Market. Kejetia Market. Kejetia. What is the most popular language of the Ghanaians? Chi. Is a chi. Tree. Chi. T W E. Twi. Uh, like twi. Tu Are you sure? It's I. T W I. Twi. Chi. Three. <laughs> I swear I will not know how to pronounce it. So let's move on. No, we no, no, we no. no, no. Let's move on because no. I'm not going to be able to pronounce no. this one. No. I'm not going to be able to pronounce. You have. To. Okay, it's, 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 no. it's almost like how you know how French people say it's actually not. Uh, it's not Jack. It's Jacques. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this Jacques is actually one of those things that tree. I will not know how yes. to pronounce it. Tree. Okay, tree. 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 She's making fun of me. She's making fun of me. Now, we know there is no national dish per se in Ghana because I've asked a couple of people and they said there's actually no, like, like there's just not one national dish for all. Yes. So different um, cultures have their own Born. national dish. Yes. But what is the most common food eaten by Guineans? Foo foo. Foo foo. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. And that's what inspired today's yes. um, cooking because yes. why not if not the most popular foods? Why not if do you know that I don't eat fufu in Nigeria? Like I don't oh. fufu is not one of those things that I actually eat. In, oh, I say. No, okay. no, I don't. I don't even know how to make it. Because we prefer I in my Eba. home in my own home we prefer Eba, Eba. We prefer Amala yes. and you know pound dough, yes. powdered yam or yes. something. But Fufu is not a staple, yes. so I definitely am interested in tasting. <laughs> and it's not please, it's not fufu. It's fufu. Fufu. It's fake. Oh, if it is fufu. What is the most popular fabric? And it's in Liz. Kente. You <laughs> Liz, 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 it's not even a question. I Kente. just put it here because I just felt, you know what? Let me Kente. just put, let me put some. 
Kente. Which <laughs> this is Kente material. Beautiful, I isn't it? Dress. It's so colorful. I have. At this point, we just remembered that all the peppers and stuff that we put in are soft. We poured them in a blender. We added a lot of water and we blended. We tried to see if it could be smooth, but it could not be smooth. So we decided to strain because this is a soup that should come out very, very light and smooth. And she just, you know, I wasn't sure what the name of this thing is, but it's like a spice as well. Then she tucked in the fish in the soup just so that it can start to cook and um, soften up. We blended the baby eggplant and um, we blended it with the dry shrimp. And then we used this black, uh, what did she call it again? I'm going to remember. I'm going to say it later on anyway, so you guys can know. She used that to grind the beans that was cooked and she poured that powder into the soup. And then we just, you know, chopped the ends of the okra and we poured it in with the garden eggs or does it release its slime into the soup? It doesn't release the slime into the soup, but onto your plate when right. you're having it. Yeah. And then you mash it with your own hands. And oh, and so like I pinch into it. Pinch it into it. So and so it allows the food full go down. Go smooth, <laughs> right? Oh, silly. Those, those, those who struggle yes, to your <laughs> baby. <laughs> Guys, we just have about five to ten more minutes and we're going to add in the fish. The fish has to go in last because you, you guys know, right? It's already soft and tender. We don't want it to like split itself into the soup. So yes. we're go going to wait until this is like fully ready and yes. then we'll just add in the fish and then we're good to go. So for the fufu, we're actually using the powder one. Um, plantain fufu. This is plantain fufu. Now we're just making the fufu because at this point I was already starving. I was hungry. I'm guessing because I knew I was coming here, I did not eat one thing before leaving my house. I made sure to keep my stomach for this place. And um, I can tell you for free, I did not, did not regret it. Oh, <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. She's such an artist in the kitchen, isn't she? Just whipping that thing back and forth, huh? Mm. Asanka, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this thing is tormenting. It is, oh. Father, we thank you. Raike. Mm. Mm. Before, mm. before my son also gets angry with me. Mm. Um, hey. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. 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 It is so good. <laughs> so good. You didn't add your drink. Mm. Yeah, you didn't add your drink. Mm. Should I bring it there? It is spicy. It is spicy, it is tasty. I used to see light soup and I used to think because of how light that it would not be bursting with flavor. But I swallow, swallow the things I have said about light soup and the way it looks. <laughs> it is absolutely delicious. It is full of flavor. Like the flavor is just, because you guys saw how many things we put in the soup. The amount of things that go into the soup, it being light is 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 really just helping you to be able to savour the soup 
as much as possible because if it's not light, I don't know how you manage it because it's just so much ingredients and spices and flavor going into the soup that you need to have it a little light to enjoy it, right? <laughs> what will happen now? You take me home. Yeah, I'll take you home you myself. Home, yeah, I'll take you. Because I can't drive. <laughs> don't worry, I'll I'm take too you. Poor. I'll take uh, you. I'll take you home. A few moments later. Yeah, I know I said I was done, but <laughs> I could not resist a few more scoops of that fufu and the soup and so we said our goodbyes it was so nice seeing you again hope to see you soon and then i began my journey back home the kids had already called me hey guys so i'm home and i'm just about to hit my bed i will be taking off all this makeup and putting the kids to sleep I just thought to say thank you so, so much for watching this video. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate all of you. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And um, since you're here, do not leave without watching the next video. I think it's here or here. Wherever it is, watch the next video, okay? Don't just leave in a hurry. Thank you so much. Do have a wonderful day, night, whatever time you're watching this. Uh, until my next video, it's loads of love.